Hi, my name is Lisa Meredith. I am with UF IFAS Hillsborough County Extension Service and today we're here to talk about worm composting, vermicomposting. Worm composting is quick and easy to do. You don't have to throw out your, your vegetable scraps. It's the ideal thing to do for people who live in apartments, condos, people who don't have yard scraps but have a lot of uh, vegetable scraps. The most common worm that people use is called a red wiggler. You can buy it through a bait house, but the most common place to buy it is online through a company that sells worms for worm composting. Some of the interesting facts about worms are they don't have lungs, they don't have teeth, they have five hearts, they do have a brain, they breathe, breathe through their skin, and their bodies are 75 to 90 percent water. Worms are like us, they have their basic needs of air, food, and water. And here we have an example of a homemade worm bin. You have your shredded newspapers, you have your, your food product, you have some crushed egg shells, and you have your worms and your bugs going to work here. You already have some castings going. And over here we have a purchase worm factory that has the different layers. You put your food product on top, and then the worms migrate from top to, bo bo top to bottom and bottom to top. And over here we have a Rubbermaid bin that we hand make here. You just take a Rubbermaid bin, drill some hose, take some lanai screen or some pull screen, put over the hose and duct tape it in. We already have some finished products here with some worms here going to work. You might want to know what to feed your worms. So you can feed your worms orange peels, celery, potatoes, coffee grinds, tea bags. Just take the staples out of your tea bags. Bread, spaghetti, no spaghetti sauce. Try to stay away from things that have a lot of acid. Don't put a lot of orange peels in there. So when you prepare your bedding, you, get, you drill your hose and you get everything ready and you put your bedding down and it's, all, it's moist. Then you throw your worms in and your worms are always going to migrate to the bottom of the bed. So when you're ready to feed it, your worms are already migrated to the bottom of the bed. So you have your paper on top, the worms are on the bottom, and you're just going to pull back the bedding when you're ready to feed it. Break your food up into smaller pieces because the worms have small mouths. And drop your pieces in there. And here we have some coffee for them. Everybody likes coffee. And then after you put the food down, you always want to cover it back up because the worms like the dark. Worms don't have eyes, but they don't like the light. They always want it dark. And then you just cover it back up, make sure your paper's moist, and then you're good to go until the next time. You can feed them once a week, twice a week, or once every two weeks, depending on how much food scraps you have. Worms can eat their weight in food every day. Check out our website for an upcoming worm composting class workshop and we'll teach you how to make your own composting bin.